me show you my new ride for the next two and a half days. So, full size sedan, that's what they call it. 16 inch tires. And this is a Kia KS. Oh, this time I have a plate, New Mexico for some reason. LX, LXS. So aluminum rims. Never drove a car like this before, but if the previous one was brand new, this one has dents, <laughs> manual seats, right? But all controls here. So electric mirrors, of course, very quiet. Service in, what? Don't service. So it has this nice screen in here. And at least this one has a climate control. So you change the temperature like this. And you can choose low. Or high. And then, okay, then, yeah, AC. Da -da 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 -da. And then this thing here. Look at this this secret button over here i don't know how big the engine is it's probably four cylinder but at the bottom you see it says forty thousand six five five miles <laughs> but if i turn this check this check what happens if i start turning like this this thing appears you see the drive mode it, it uh, goes like this smart normal sport custom so I'm gonna switch it to sport next time. So now I draw I drove in smart and smart it just you know it's it tries to keep your um, oh check this out it also shows in here so if I turn this yeah you see oh man you see custom smart normal so yeah this is definitely uh you know more powerful car than that one I had before that that uh, that minivan and the temperature today is it was like 78 now it's 80 82 see i'm wearing shorts and this time i rented this from uh, budget whereas before that that minivan i got from uh, new car rentals when i got the toll 12 bucks a day just in case i don't know some roads here are tall but so now it's air conditioning, so telescopic steering wheel. So this is all uh, radio. And then here, this is uh, your setup for the for the dash. Because before I couldn't find, like it was showing me tire pressure. I don't want to stare at the tire pressure all day. So finally I toggled this and it switched to, uh, to the speed in miles. Of course, it has a radio. They were, they were offering me to pay for um, a Sirius XM radio you can do that or gps because this thing probably has a yeah, navigation inside but i declined because i was using my phone so basically what happened here i'm at the best buy in denver somewhere on i-25 somewhere i have no idea like i'm so like where am i i know it's i-25 yeah it's like south of downtown and what happened is that i decided i went uh, i booked a hotel for two more nights and i booked this car on priceline and um, and i found a load as i mentioned as i mentioned uh in the post on the community pages i found a load so um i'm leaving denver Saturday and then Sunday I'll probably be at the Iowa 80 truck stop I need to do oil change and then Monday is the holiday of course and Tuesday morning I'm loading a small uh, a small uh, farm appliance like attachment like a trailer I'll put a picture at the end it's very nice load pays pretty good you know so it's and it's going right to uh, Ontario just north of uh, where my yard is located in Cambridge this is maybe 
20 miles north of that and it's only 7,000 pounds but 11.6 wide and 6 feet tall and about 21 feet long so I will have to order I'm gonna order the permits tomorrow but I'll probably just run on two axles I'm gonna on the trail I'm gonna raise axle 1 and axle 3 so from here to my to the shipper it's a thousand miles and again because I cannot do loads inside US I have to find a load that goes to Canada right so this was a good load light easy just put four chains on it right pays pays well like I said and it goes right into my backyard and then uh, I might have another load like I was talking to a guy uh, they promised me they promised to send me a rate confirmation but so far I don't see anything um, but I might be moving uh, a crane part of a crane uh, which loads in Ontario and it goes to Alberta it's you know when they a big crane right when they like a crawler crane when they have to split it into multiple shipments because it's so big like one guy takes a crawler track another guy takes the car body and then the the main house or whatever it's called and I told them I can do the car body because I moved them before it's not too long I know how to load it it's about 105,000 pounds and because Alberta is still on uh, spring weights uh, if they approve me for this I gave them my rate went crazy because you know I never can find loads out of Alberta unless they're super cheap but chances are because the because of the current restrictions I will have to do a three plus two in the back I'll have to call the record company and uh, hook up the change the booster into a tandem booster and hook it to my uh, triaxle trailer and of course the Jeep with the long neck you know the full shebang and because it's higher than 5,000 pounds my uh, enhanced annual permit for Ontario does not cover so much weight so I would have to wait for a single trip permit which now takes about three days and I told them that but so far I don't have a rate confirmation yet so now I only have the rate confirmation for this uh, farm uh, farm attachment that I'm loading Tuesday all right and what I'm doing at the Best Buy it's that's why I rented the car uh, so that I can explore the the parks and the, the areas around Denver and I found online and people were leaving comments that you know there's lots of wildlife in that um, a rocky a rocky national whatever but that's like 70 miles from here you know so instead I called the bar lake state park I asked him how it how the entrance fees work and they told me yeah you can pay with a credit card and it's uh, $11 and then you can walk there around the lake there's uh, trails you know there's a uh, observation platform so I'm gonna grab my 500 millimeter lens and my camera and just go there tomorrow uh, just after sunrise and that's why I'm here is because I want to get a faster card because my Nikon D850 supports CF Express or uh, XQD cards and this is the only place when they had them so I, I don't have to wait because there's another base buy closer to me but that one says uh, you have to order now and you can pick up after the Memorial Day and then but they said uh, it's available for today's pickup at other locations and so I ordered this as a guest checked it out and now I just got an email saying that Mr. Drachev your order is ready for pickup and so I'm going in I'm gonna buy this uh, uh, XQD card which is much faster than my current SD card which is better for photography you know the camera works faster and then I also want to check out the uh, if they have any nice camera bags 
because mine starts falling apart. I had it probably for three years. And then the last thing I want to see is, oh, I'm going to ask him because I never used this XQD cards before. So I don't know if I need a separate reader, you know, that attachment you hook up to your, like I have a MacBook, right, to the MacBook. Right now I only have an SD card reader, so I don't know if that's enough, but I think these are bigger. These cards are bigger, so I'm going to ask them. All right, so that's what's happening. So new car with 40,000 miles on it, mine for uh, two and a half days. And I checked back into a hotel in the same area where I was before. My truck is still over there near the airport. You know, uh, the plan today is now after this is go and find some nice uh, seafood restaurant. If they have something in the area, go have some fish, you know. This morning, I jumped off the wagon. I went to a breakfast all day breakfast restaurant and I had some skillet with potatoes but at least no bread you know but it had potatoes eggs sausage ham you know one of those skillets but I was I was hungry in the morning for some reason so now it's back on the wagon protein only all right cool cool well I got lucky instead of XQD card I found CF Express which is way faster like four over four times faster than that one that I ordered so they refunded me the money and I got this this was about 250 US and of course this is bigger than my uh, typical SD card um, so my SD card reader would not work with this so I had to buy this this was about 70 bucks this is a reader you hook up to your computer uh, to read this so now this will be my main card for photography and the current SD card will be in slot number two for you know overflow when this card gets full or like a reserve basically so now all I need to do is just find a good restaurant to celebrate my good fortune ciao